There's two fangs there, plus the thermals for some extra damage. Everybody's favourite false transponder codes, and of course the multi core upgrade. Uh, you can't ignore the three dice gun out the front, so it'll be interesting to see how that flies and what sort of formation these uh, scum ships fly in. Yeah, it's very. Um, my first thought when I saw the squad was, okay, um, clearly tooled for this exact squad. Um, clearly was sort of the the idea and the purpose was to try and take out these rebel squads in the XTC. Um, still, um, <clears throat> I think it's got a very strange uh, risk reward setup because that range two is just killer for the fangs, and that's I think going to be Tom's main focus here is getting that range 2, getting one of those fangs at range 2 and getting at least two shots on it with with all the mods that he gets. I think that's sort of critical here for him and I just don't think Salvador's going to let him get it. I have to see how we go. It might be a case of when you have a bad matchup, what you actually have to do is fly something differently. So, mm. you know, these rebel lists all these tokens, you want to block up, stay in formation, puzzle your tokens around, do what you do. This might be the case where you actually might need to, say, dive the Ewing in for a block or something like that. Yep. You know, maybe maybe you're dropping a little bit of your token efficiency, but you're actually, you're actually getting that key block in, block the fang, get your shots in, you know, thread tracers, and then hoping to get you know, Garvin and, and one of your other ships, Kyle or Benthic, um, in with, you know, th three dice attacks against a uh, range two Fang with no tokens, uh, wasn't able to steal any of yours, doesn't have Fearless, that doesn't have the Cordia. I think that might be what Tom has to play for. Uh, yeah. But we'll see what his approach to this game will be in just a minute. Looks like they're setting up already. Yeah, they... Ah, finally getting placement, and I think rock placement was was is was also going to be a large factor factor for Tom. Um, I'm not quite sure that this really favours him, um, but I guess he doesn't really want to play around in those rocks either. So it looks like that's um, that that is Terry up there. I'm just going to update the what colour red for Fen. While you do that, uh, good morning in the chat room. We've got uh, Matt cheering for Salvador and also Christoph. Greetings from Chile. Yeah, greetings from Australia. I hope it's uh, a little bit more of a decent hour. That said, I've had my coffee, so I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm still sipping on mine, so I'm still getting there. <laughs> lots and lots of love for the Chileans in the chat at the moment so uh yeah the Australians are all asleep the Australians are all fast asleep <laughs> not much we can do about that um but it's good to have you guys there because we are going to be uh probably a little bit biased but I as a scum player I do I bleed scum um I actually really want to see uh, and I also hate that rebel squad uh there is a part of me that does want to see the scum squad win uh but I do love I do love Tom so I've got to, I'm going to try and remain unbiased so that I can also remain in love with Scum. Um, but I do think Tom is up against it here. I think that these these fangs can really, really spike damage out. Yeah, look, Tom, Tom is a, Tom's a pretty decent player. He's also the most handsome man in X-Wing. I'm not sure if the, the room realises that. I've got a bag on my head right now because I... I just have to when he's... <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair enough. Um, I'm just going to turn down voice. Here we go. Oh, sorry, I've got Fen up got there. Got Fen on the yep. screen. Cleared it. And looks like the players are just about ready to go. For the space lugs, this is episode four, A New Hope. So a little bit rough and ready, <laughs> so we'll hope you'll stick around. <laughs> this is definitely A New Hope. Um, yeah, uh, I don't actually know if anyone in the chat knows what the current um, the current score is between 
uh, Australia and Chile. I'm pretty confident from memory that it is currently at least 2-1 Australia's way. Um, oh, time has started. Let's roll with the overlay and let's see how we go. Big fast move by Benthic there. Ooh, yeah. See, again, this is, this is Tom going going to be a little bit different. I don't think you would expect this Rebel squad to rush out that that quickly. Um, I think Tom's hopefully trying to catch Salvador off guard here. You think uh, Terry's the bait here? I, I would say so. Um, I would say so. But I'm not sure if if... If Salvador hasn't put in a hard move here, he may be caught a little bit out of position. Yeah, I guess we'll a bank bank this. will save him. Four straight, and we go from uh, Garvin. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was baiting. Yeah, it's the one turn. You got and it. In the chat there looks like yeah two two one to to Australia at the moment. Uh, thank you, Christoph. Yes, thank you, Christoph. Uh, just, just with this bait move in here, with a look, he's like he's just going for the boost. I'm wondering whether he'll get back around fast enough. Does do you think Terry will try and just swing around that cloud there? I oh, know he's gone straight. Um, the only issue is for Salvador with the, the bait and switch is that you've, you're losing one, one third of your guns. Yes. And you need all those guns to push through the the defense in this squad because that Jin, Ur Jin Urso token passing is very, very powerful. Very powerful. It's, um, it's just creates so much flexibility to react and reacting in in real time to what's happening in front of you uh, to the dice that have been rolled is pretty intense um, and especially when you can either take a focus or an evade pushing even one damage through is tough uh, and is a commendable um, is a is a good thing to be able to do to get through one damage and if you're not shooting one third of your ships uh, you're going to going to struggle. And and I think a good question here, Suresh, is if you are Salvador, who are you shooting first out of those four rebel ships? Uh, Hera is the probably the biggest sort of target. That said, Hera in an A-wing is also the slipperiest target. She really powers a bunch of the shenanigans that the list pulls. Um, only a four... Four health ship though in total with the two shields and the two hull. Yep. But with that A wing dial, if she gets in trouble, she can get out of there and uh, live to fight another day. So Hera is really the most attractive target. Garvin, Garvin is beef in this squad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, so, and, and so is, um, and so is Kyle to some extent. Uh, having only played against this particular one once, my own strategy was I I just took the target of opportunity at the time I got it, uh, and that happened to be Benthic. I think the... Yeah, th that's that's the main thing. And Benthic's who uh, Tom will feed to Salvador, because Benthic, although enabling some of the... Um, some of the shenanigans, I don't think he's the linchpin... Um, I think the the probably the right move for the first target if you can get it because you won't get Hera if the rebel player is flying it correctly you will not be shooting at Hera not with quality shots anyway so I think if you can get shots in on Kyle and you can take out Kyle that stops Jin Erso, uh and that also stops um, that also stops that free token passing which is very powerful at, at the beginning of engagement phase Kyle will pass a token um, and I just think that that is truly enabling a lot more than people probably give it credit for. Um, I'm just bringing Kyle up on the screen there. Uh, at the start of the engagement phase, you may transfer one of your focus tokens to a friendly ship in your firing arc. So unlike the new scum pilots, Kyle is in all of his firing arcs, so that includes the multi-crow firing arc as well. Uh, it's 
that that is, I think, one of the the main monsters in this squad as well. That passing to Hera so that she can have more than one focus uh, to pass out for either a focus or an evade. It's pretty pretty strong. Yep. Now, just as they set the dials here and are just about to kick onto round two, there's this big channel, and it's just Tom. You just seen Tom take this really big channel here hmm. uh, diagonally across the board. Looking at Paylob, do you, do you think with the two fangs being slippery as they are, do you just dive in and, and try and get Paylob off the board? I think you've got to be very careful because if those fangs... With Fen, where Fen is right now, he doesn't have a great cut in lane. I don't know if a one hard fits there. What? Uh, it fits. It's still not a great cut in no, lane. No, no. So he's Fen, Fen's going to need to go around and Tom has some good coverage there. Okay, he's turned Paylop away anyway. <laughs> but I, I do think that that was probably a good move um, if Paylob was coming in to just dive all in on Paylob. But it looks like it looks like Salvador's goal here is to kite Tom through those rocks. If not, get a nice flank on, on from from Fen. Yeah, I, I I think I like the... Oops. There we go. This is interesting. Very... There he says, come at me. Mm. If he stays there, he still looks like he's still got like a one hard if he wants to maybe do a little bit of a fake out here for next turn. Uh, he's already choosing to... Oh, Ooh, barrel rolling. rolling. Rolling to the left. Uh, okay. Well, I see he still has the one hard to the right, which wouldn't be a great move if Tom goes in to block that. But then he's also got, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, that's an interesting, interesting move. What do you think his plan is there? Uh, I actually, I actually really like it. He's showing uh, an option here because he could probably squeeze in like a two-three bank around to the left of that cloud, or, as you said, put in a hard turn to the right. So he's just showing Tom some pretty wildly different options. I do like the positioning of of Terry. So mm. we'll see what Tom tries to do to react to that. No shots. I'm wondering though if have you hung Terry out to dry? That's yeah, that's my main concern here. Um, because a five straight there would have probably been a nice safer option, but it looks like Salvador is choosing some violence here. Oh, I think we've got some dice rolling happening. Nope, no, no one was in it. I wasn't watching. Flipping the dials. Uh, the other, uh, actually, you, you you also hit the nail on the head. You, is you could just jam Terry in with a five straight. Yep. Over the rock. Yeah, you won't get your, you won't get your, uh, your actions. But you've got fearless, and Concordia face off and token stealing, to to mitigate the damage there. Plus a, a three hard in here from Fen, gets him a, a nice little channel for a flank there. Um, so if Tom dives all in on Terry and Terry f five straights, straight over the the gas cloud, ends up bumped and is just tanking shots with his Concordia wall defense. Yeah, uh, that's definitely uh, probably going to end well just for the Fen positioning alone. Because um, Fen really can just, he can just end this whole squad, especially if Kyle goes down. Um, Hera doesn't quite shoot uh, enough dice, I don't think, to take out Fen. Um, but Kyle's turret arc can shut down that Concordia face off, so I think Tom needs to try and leverage that if he wants to try and get stop this flank from Fen. He's got to make he's got a decision to make now though. He's got Salvador's got his forces on either side of the board. Does he continue in on the on the paylob slash Fen or does he just dive in here? I think if you're if you're Tom, uh, you have to do two things. One is to make a decisive decision yep and two is to and this is going to sound a little bit lame but two you actually have to make the right call there <laughs> yeah so, if you, so you, you've actually got to pick now you pick Fen or Terry and you you go all in for one if you can if you can nail one of them you'll be fine because you'd back you'd back your squad to deal with the other one with with one of the two key pieces here for Salvador off the board you know Paylob's not a win condition but but both Terry and Fen we think are 
and if you get one of them off the board, you are laughing. And we've just seen that decisive decision. Mm. I do like the positioning. You're going to get... You, you've actually cut off two of the options here for Terok. One is the, the five stop. See, the one this... Is the, Ooh. This is the this is this is exactly the sort of thing you need to be doing. Is he's he's trying to now not have everything at range one, so that he can hopefully get some range two shots. I think he's anticipating that over the gas cloud push in, um, and he's trying to make it so that probably I don't know sends Garvin over the top. I think he's trying to let Kyle hopefully take a range two shot here into into Terry. And also not allowed that that uh, right hand pilot right lane for Terry uh, to come round if he dives all in on that left hand side. Uh, yeah, rolling out of the way there, I think, to uh, let Hera have some room. Yep. And in the chat, hi from Argentina, and good morning from Australia to you. <laughs> yes, very good morning. It is six twenty a.m. here. Terry's turned away. Ah, yeah. See, that was the problem with diving in that hard on one side was that you did allow him that. Very well done. He's going to avoid all shots there um, and has not locked himself into a corner. So that was a very good move there from Salvador, really. Tom Tom sort of had to make... You're, you, you were right. He had to make a choice. He just needed to make sure it was the right choice. Uh, I actually don't think it's the wrong choice. No, I don't think it was the wrong choice, but it, it definitely... Um, Salvador sort of suspected that Tom had to make the right choice as well, I think. So, so you don't nail old Terok this round, uh, which is, which is why it's 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 not just going to look decisive. Um, don't forget Leia. Exactly was my next point. That Leia is just going to, but the the problem is, Terry gets this boost in here. Um, he's got a good chance of getting into range one, but with the way Tom's now set up, he should be able to deny um, getting everyone at range one. So, so if you you've got this boost in here now, uh, popping Leia is the threat, and uh, just having a look there, I'd say that Fen is fairly well committed to that lane now. Yeah, and I I foresee a I think it's what have they got? What's, what's on their dial? I've flown enough fangs in my time, I should know better. Here we go, the violence begins. Looks like got some range three shots from Fen. Going into Kyle there. Well, means Kyle's got a two dice return shot, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, that's a pretty nice, pretty nice uh, range three shot. Fen probably doesn't spend the focus on here. Nah, you wouldn't. The value of the damage to Kyle. Now uh, just hit focus. Yeah, like it's, it's not just the one. Where to? Where to? Rough and ready for dice cams, ladies and gents. Oh, oh one. Ah, oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> See the, the power, uh, the pure power of Gino So Hera. Yep. And. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's disgusting. We all yeah. know it's disgusting. I always forget. I always forget about that evade. So now, I suspect uh, we will see... Oh, that's right. Carl still gets his return shot. So I think you're right here. I think, um, regardless of what happens here... Oh, probably... Oh, that's... Yep, yeah, you can just pass that focus that's not long for this world and make it two. Hits. And two of eight. Very nice. So I think now the layer is the obvious move, but I don't think that makes it the bad move. Um, you've got a three talent roll out of uh, Garvin or even a 4K. Um... You just do another stop on Kyle, and oh, we do have a shot. 
win the turret arc. Ah, range, range three. three. Through the gas cloud. Should be fine. He's got the focus. Yeah, he should be fine. No, it's not worth spending that. And he does not. So, no damage. That is telling, though. Um, Paylob should be able to get in and possibly get range 2 if Benthic does that stop rotate. Uh, and a stop rotate will basically just feed him straight into Fen. But I think Tom's hopefully... Tom is hoping there that... Um, the three Talon, or even just a three Hard. Hmm. It's think, a tough uh, call. Fen has a good lane there. Yeah, Fen's got a good lane. Paylob might end up feeding a lock to Fen, and honestly, focus locking and nuking Kyle is the play. He won't be able to feed the lock. Uh, Fen is stressed. Ah. Yep, nope, just seen that behind the, mm. behind the model on my my view here. So, true, but then in that case, jam jam Fen in, get the lock, and, and nuke Kyle anyway. Uh, that's probably Salvador's best play. Absolutely. Uh, and then you'll, you know, I even if Kyle survives, you'll mitigate the damage back with Concordia and, and etc. <laughs> um, and your own four dice defense. Do, do you uh, one-forward Kyle here? Yeah. If you one-forward Kyle, you'll deny Fen that fearless, fearless shot into Kyle, um, and then you'll make sure that he sort of has to keep maybe range one into Benthic, because Tom would much prefer a shot into Benthic than a shot into Kyle. And then the three talent roll from Garvin uh, should then hopefully get a shot into Fen, hopefully at range two. But the uh, the counterplay is actually if he if he jams Paylob in he risks just getting Paylob taken off the board. Mm, very true. Because if you if you turn Bendig around you're gonna actually cover both the approach lanes for both Fen and Paylob there. Well, you know you know Terry's not coming in because he doesn't have much of a option there. So this is yeah. Tom's round to try and get some real damage in before all three ships converge. Yeah. Yeah, Terry. Terry doesn't have a play this round uh, he might uh, he's probably if he turns left he's a round away if he turns right towards the corner he's actually I think two rounds away although it might put him in a good flanking position you think he goes to the corner sorry like that's that's the the long game option I'm personally, uh, I'd be, I'd be looking at left all day because that's just me. Um, but Salvador clearly knows what he's doing. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how, how much of, how much of sort of that uh, aggression he trades for positioning. Because uh, because Hera, Hera is, Hera's not going to three sleep even if Leia's popped here because she's going probably too straight. Uh, two turn. Two turn. Um, and then if you do it too hard with Terry, you're sort of blocking that lane off. Uh, it might not be the end of the world to end up in that corner if it's everyone else has turned around. There's Leia. <laughs> yep. Stop. Flip. Yep. Turn it around. So you're almost guaranteed a shot on Paylob here if Paylob turns in. There's no way he exactly. can get out of that arc. So if you survive <laughs> um, you will yep nice well get, done get your shot now so the only thing here is he's got to decide what to do with this yeah he'll just take he won't be able to pass it to um, Hera though which isn't bad but that's sort of the point of the squad so it'll be interesting to see what he does here with that that triple focus on Kyle and where he passes it because he wants that turret to deny uh, or to take shots into I should say Fen Closing the wings. And Paylob? I don't know what he expected stopped. with the wing closing here. Oh, Paylob stopped. Okay. That's a, probably, probably a good idea. It, uh, then is Fen not coming in then, maybe? 
Ben's committed and, and yeah. if he turns away <laughs> he doesn't have much like of a choice turning away at the moment because you, you're kind of just opening it up to, to please shoot me and Salvador did put I saw him take Fen's dial onto the table so he was putting a lot of energy into trying to figure out what he wanted to do there I'm I'm wondering if the um, the Garvin uh, S-Foils was a misplay I would think so to be quite honest with you because he closed those um, wings and that could end up being very decisive here because he solid chance he can get found at range 2 yeah. and now he's only shooting 2 dice I didn't see what the players agreed to one of the weird weird quirks of TTS is that your S-Foils card doesn't match your S-Foils token or your, your uh, yeah. model so I don't know what they've agreed to well, we will see when Garvin shoots dice, I suppose. Still, we definitely will see. Ah, there we go. He's going to finally take some shots on Terry. Terry has no mods because he took a target lock into Garvin. Tom is really reaching for that one there. And we've jammed Fen in straight three. Looks like you're at range one, which you like against Benthic. Probably thinking about whether he just goes all out for violence or whether he hedges his bet and takes a focus. Oh, he's he's boosted. Boosted. The only problem with that oh. is he does not now, he's no way he's range one of Garvin and he does not have Concordia against the return the return shot here from Kyle. So Kyle's got a nice three dice no yep. Concordia shot into Fen. That's that's good for Tom if he, if it, the dice praise him. Oh, this could be good if if the dice really come out here for Tom. This this could be a very good very good round for him. Uh, yeah, this will this will be where the variance comes into play. Mm. Speaking of which, little pop gun there from the A wing is two <laughs> hits and. One hit going into Terry. Every 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 Actually, damage counts. Some damage. Yeah, these these fangs are hard to push in damage on. So that's very good for Tom. So not not critical. It's just the one, but it's uh, it's just that insult, really, <laughs> rather yeah. than injury. So this is the spike damage I think that Tom is really worried about. It, Fen can one shot Kyle here, and that's that's scary. Yeah. got five dice and a focus token coming in. Oh yeah, oh, you do not, not that spend big. that. And I did also forget of the Hera's, Hera plus Jin. So there was no way to kill the Hawk. Oh, he's actually survived taking no damage. Alright, now this is this is big, big for Tom. A range Garvin. two shot from Garvin. Now, how many dice has he got? Two he dice. Got three dice. Three dice. Okay. Wow. This is this is where it hurts. This Sp is where... Spends the focus, passes it off. That is a crit going in on Fen. Yep. Let's pick. Let's see what it is. What was it? I didn't see. Wounded pilot there. Wounded pilot. Wounded pilot in on Fen. That is going to be critical because that boost focus, the barrel focus, is really important to keeping them alive. So if he can't get that off. He's probably going to forego repositioning and just taking uh, taking the mod to try and live if he survives this. Just a hit focus, so turn that into a hit. Two hits. So he's unmodded here. No Concordia. That's half points on Fen. That's big. It is half points. He's still got Benthic to shoot, uh, although he will get Concordia against that. So I'm I think he's, he's got to back himself. 
Oh no, we got Palob coming in first. No shot. Stop the range. Now Palob stopped, remember? Yeah, I think that stop was probably, in hindsight, <laughs> I think Salvador might be uh, regretting that stop. I think he was maybe hoping to send in Palob and Terry together, was maybe the hope, and hoped that... Yeah. Hmm. So just a, a two die shot here out the uh, mobile arc. Still gets two hits. Range three through the cloud against the stopped. So he, he's actually going to push a damage. Through. He won't. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Gas cloud, change one. And then Hera pass, you know, So this, this squad is filthy. You can understand why I think most of the XTC uh, teams have this Rebel squad in their lists. Uh, simply because it's just so versatile and yeah. it's so good. So what you actually kind of have to do is uh, the best way to describe it is is just keep your chin up mm -hmm. and you just keep shooting and you make him spend all the tokens and you, you pick apart some of the pieces that let him pass the tokens and and if you can hang in the game for long enough eventually the rebel list runs out of tokens. Wow, that is a good good shot here from um, from Benthic. Yeah. Benthic's coming in, and Fen needs a good roll. Oh, Ooh, no. that's one health left on Fen. Yep. Oh, he's got the focus just. Oh, he had the focus. Oh, I thought he'd spent the focus. Oh no, he's. Oh, sorry, Concordia. My bad. Concordia. Oh right. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's Salvador's probably hurting after that. But it's not over. Fen just needs one hole, and Fen can. Fen, Fen just needs one shot, five dice, um, and he's happy. So if Fen is happy to leave the game if he can take one of these ships with him. It's not yeah, necessarily wor a worthy trade in terms of points, but as soon as you start, like you said, picking apart this list. Yeah, you, you've just got to sort of ride it out, and, and eventually they run out of tokens. Then you can you can say thanks for coming. You know I've got higher initiative. I got higher initiative. I got fearless and Concordia face off. I'm just going to win now. Um, and there's not much the rebel list can do about it. You, you, Tom's done pretty well to keep uh, his three big hitters in formation though. Yeah. I've, I was thinking about that earlier. That one of the problems with this squad against these double fangs is you want to keep your ships as close together as possible, but what that does is that exposes you to taking multiple range one shots, which is what Fen wants. He wants all those range one shots. He gets four dice, he gets one free evade. Um, yep. But Tom did very well here uh, to get Garvin at range two. And, and also that one forward from Kyle to get the turret arc shot, that was, uh, that was good, and that, that definitely worked in his favor, obviously. We got Fen on one hole there. And one forward to victory. Do you, do you think the boost to the right there from Fen maybe maybe didn't need that? No, I think I think you either stay or you push straight forward because that would have gummed up the lanes a little bit better, would have given him a, a decent escape route, um, and would have had him he would have had sorry Concordia face off um, against the Kyle shot. Uh, well, we'll see how we go. This is not. Over by any means. No way. Um, um, Harry is really telegraphed his, his turn, big turn into the left. And then we'll take, get Palob into the fight. I think he's got to get that, that three dice gun from Moldy Crow there. You paid, you paid your premium for it. Uh, and you really want it to do some work. Yeah. So what do you think, what do you think uh, you do here if you're Tom? You've got, Fen hurt, but Fen uh, may just run away, and you may not get another decent shot. Uh, you've sort of got to pick which lane he's going to take, either right or left. Do you turn in on Terry, now that you know Terry's coming in? Um, I think the interesting thing, though, for Terry is I, I kind of like the look of Terry seeing if you can, like, one turn option for a barrel roll and just murder Hera. Yeah, that that is what I was looking at as well. That's what I was thinking. Do you bother turning in on Terry? Oh, looks like Tom has decided he is turning in on Terry. He is. And there's the bump. He's trying to deny that range one on all shots. Uh, I'd suspect a 4k then from Garvin. 
No, he didn't move Garvin. Yep. Oh, wrong one. I know, wrong one. And then we've got Paler probably banking in there. Yep. Get your get your front art working for you. So now that you've seen what's going on, do you barrel roll or do you, I don't think you have coordinate there. No. Boost the in. Coordinate's too far. Using that engine upgrade, he paid for it two points. <laughs> He wants, but the fact that Paylob's been out of this fight for so long is definitely hurting, um, hurting Salvador here. He's got bombs, he's got false transponder codes, he's got gleb. This Paylob wants to be doing work. He's a little workhorse, and he's he's trying to support these two big hitters here. Yeah, there's yeah. the barrel roll. You're just shutting down Hera's options. Yeah, because that sort of blocks off Hera getting in the range two bubble that she wants. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you yeah. probably... If you... Do you just barrel roll here? You don't want to take that shot. So you don't want to, yeah, tank that shot, I should say. Yeah, I mean, you could you could barrel roll to the right and, and roll your dice against Concordia face-off, which is what he's doing here now. Yeah. And you'll just sneak out of Terry's arcs and with the option then to to turn in and keep following. So not too bad for the longer game. And he can pass um, a token from Kyle as well. Just a two turn. Oh, I like that. I like that. He's played for the fact that he's really got to move and he's gotten Finn out of there. So you probably just boost. I, I don't really... I feel like, yeah, there you go. Boost, roll for the, the wounded pilot. Pilot. Well, if you if you didn't boost, you just flip your card. You're not taking any. Sh are you taking any shots? Yeah, he was taking a shot from Garvin. Oh, sorry, from Garvin. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's dodged the bullet there with wounded pilot. We considering. Uh, is he maybe? Con no, that was it. So he was just able to get Terry out of that arc. That was that was very good. So now Tom knows that Terry, uh, Kyle does not have that shot on Terry, but um, Benthic definitely does. Yeah. Now, oh, oh, sorry. I think Terry steals that. Oh, he sure does. Ah, oh, Tom, Tom. I think forgetting <laughs> the player order here. Uh, probably wanted to pass that to... Oh, and Paylob steals it. See, this is this is where it... Oh, that's why he wanted to pass it to Hera, because he knew Paylob would steal it anyway. Probably should have just kept it. Yeah, at least have one on Kyle there. Yeah. That would, then this is the power of that squad, right? The Just messing with all the tokens. Now, for, somehow, Tom's squad is tokenless. Oh, well, that's what happens when you've got no tokens. So if you're Paylob here, you shoot into Kyle. He's got no tokens. Or do you uh, dogpile onto Garvin? Garvin. Yeah, it looks like that's what he is choosing. You can probably be pretty... Oh, it doesn't need to. I was going to say, you can be comfortable knowing that Terry's probably not going to spend his focus. He doesn't even need to. Oh. Gets two. Takes a shield uh, on Garvin. He's probably not used to not having a free evade there. Yeah. And, and this is this is what... This is really, really solid play here from Salvador. A bit of a mistake by Tom in, in passing the token yeah. to getting them both stolen uh, but this is what you do you ride out the you ride out the tokens he's hurt but he's not crippled and now he's actually able to fight back pretty effectively yeah definitely only one only one hit there probably safe yep. this might be a no damage round for Tom here uh, Paleob's shot should be coming next and that's he's got a free focus token to, to use here so yeah, he's going to shoot into Garvin. Garvin's got no tokens. You shoot mm -hmm. Garvin when he's got no to there are no tokens on the board for him to take. 
You've already got a damage in on him. Oh, he's nice. splitting it. Kyle. Splitting the damage. You got a better chance of pushing damage in, but. Yep. And, and some of the guys in the chat and, and mentioned as well is that Kyle is really the engine here, getting hit focus for two hits, looking to just break apart this token passing engine and. He gets a damage in. Yep, only one evade, so. And now that now that the the two token monsters, uh, sorry, the two token stealers, I should say, are in so close, Tom is going to have a hard time rebuilding those batteries again. Definitely, it's actually going to be pretty much a fair fight from here on in. And Tom's got the early damage in, and he just, for his point of view, just needs to do enough. I I foresee a lot of target locks from Tom's <laughs> side here. Now, don't forget false transponder codes. Uh, they are <laughs> yeah. on <laughs> Yes, they sure are. So, Tom now, I feel, is after last turn, he's now playing catch-up. Um, he doesn't... Uh, Salvador doesn't have any points on the board, but I think his position here is probably a lot happier than Tom's is. Um, no matter where Hera goes, I, I presume Paylob will be in uh, take stealing range, uh, and I that that U wing is moving forward. So where does he move? Yeah, that's that's the thing. And uh, Tom's got to again select a target, and and see what he can do about that. You know that one thing he selects. What Tom hasn't done in this round is he hasn't massed his fire, which has been really, really good play by Salvador to to force Tom into these hard choices. Yeah. And Tom's, Tom's really, really uh, hedged his bets. So so he's man while, while Salvador's taken damage, you know, Fen's still alive on one, uh, and Palob's untouched. So this is still all to play for. What I do like, though, is uh, possibly a, a Talon roll from Garvin. Uh, while you push the rest of your your ships forward, and and maybe even you you try and get uh, get a bump there with Kyle, so you don't actually get too far forward uh, to so to mitigate some of what payload might do to you. Yeah, I think the hard thing here is you're pretty confident you know where Terry's going, right? Terry is just going straight. And the thing is, unless you block Paylob, he's probably... Oh, he might not have the range to for it, though. I, did, I didn't double-check. I don't think he even checked his mobile arc. But that, um... Oh, I guess Terry's stressed anyway. Yeah, that's the yeah, problem so with, with um, uh, Protectorate Gleb, is uh, the fangs that usually stress themselves. Although, I could foresee a two straight out of Paylob um, to then coordinate uh, Fen to fix that. That wounded pilot and Fen just one hards and then boosts in. And just starts to and work. Yeah. That's why you bring Gleb. It's for when those fangs aren't stressed, you just give them double actions. Yeah. Or triple. Triple, as, yeah. As maybe. Is, yeah, you'll get that focus lock uh, for the big four to five dice shots with Fearless as well. So Tom, but the thing is, if Tom foresees that, a 4k here would at least tell Fen, no, 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 you are not getting on my bum bum. Um, yep. yep, 100%. I do like a, a stop by Paylob though. Paylob's in a really, really good spot. He is in a very good spot. Taking any tokens that come out. Um, it's just about whether or not he wants Fen to get in this round or he wants Fen to get in at next round. Because a nice, easy two bank, and then repair the crit if he's not taking any shots is pretty nice for Fen there. It gives him a chance to, to cut back in nice and tight. Yep, it gets him on Hera's tail as well. Mm. Ewing opening the wings, and... 
Well, he's got Heron next turn, so I think he this positioning here might be uh, uh, one making room for Kyle and two. Look, look out, Tom! You don't want to want to end up coughing up that token to to Terry. I think his goal here is at least have one focus, and he's turning that turret so that way doesn't matter yeah. whose focuses go, someone's having a focus. So that's a good that's a good rotate there. That'll also allow hopefully a non Concordia face off shot into Terry. I think is the goal there. Yep. Oh, oh over the top. So this will be the coordinate probably. Uh, keep the stress. Yep. Yep. Leb. Yeah. So, so the... if you've set the two bank, you just cough it up to Fen, and then it'll it'll clear it anyway. Yeah, let's see what he's. Got. I think that'll be the, that'll be the that'll be very telling, and it'll hopefully, hopefully be the right. Yeah, you're right. Yep, he's getting out of there, so he's not cutting in. So Tom can probably feel. Pre oh, no, the too hard would put you right in front of that gas cloud. I think so. You could roll away. Yeah. Take focus. So Tom can be pretty confident now. No, it was too hard from Garvin. Oh. Ugh. Oh, uh, don't like it. No. no it's okay. I think he was like you, anticipating a stop from uh, Paylob. Bumps. Up. So, the question now is, can Tom get Hera uh, not having her gun pointed at Terry? Two uh, bank. Nope. So, the good thing here is, um, Terry is range 1, not range 0 to 1. So, Terry ah. will probably strip from uh, Kyle if he's got that range one, but... Yeah. Oh, it is the two left, and then wow. you're going to rip away. Oh, this is very, very aggressive, and, and could actually... Like, this this could really be telling here. Hopefully, for this massive amount of Salvador fans in the chat there, uh, that barrel roll to the left fits. Yeah. Oh, he... oh wrong, wrong ship. <laughs> it's very confusing. So yeah, I wonder which which direction. Yeah, that left, that yeah, left. Yep. It's all good. And then oh, right and in Garvin. In your arc on. Uh, yeah, you've you've got it actually. Yeah. I think you've got the nice five die shot on Garvin. And Garvin's got no tokens. It might be out of Hera's passing range there, and I think you've avoided, or you've definitely avoided, uh, the mobile turret arc from Kyle. It's looking pretty good for Salvador this turn, that's for sure. Yep. Tom says no Kyle. So Paylob actually... Uh, I think, yeah, now... So yeah, Paylob can take from Hera. It's probably what you do there. Yep. Ooh, takes from Benthic. I think he's. Hmm. I think that might be a bit, a bit of a misplay. There wasn't really much of a. Oh, I guess no. There's no. There was no point in that. Now Hera can pass around that that focus to who. I guess. Yeah, she can just pass the focus back over to Kyle anyway. Uh, yep. So, Kyle's front arc. Doesn't have Terry there, so just checking for that. Ah, that's very good for Tom there. He could get very lucky into into Terry here with a unmodded shot from Terry. Sorry, unmodded Terry, a shot into an unmodded Terry. And uh, in the chat there, uh, Rogue One eighty first. I have no idea what that that means, but it sounds like go Chileans. I'll, I'll read I, it as that. I can tell you that the last he's put the, the Chilean flag in twice because. That's what the CLC, CL means, <laughs> that he put the Chilean flag in. I still got no hope on the rest of it. <laughs> uh, I think it means tonight the Chileans have won, I think is what he's saying. <laughs> Thanks, Google Translate. Uh, and here we go, because this is this is the big money shot here. For yeah, this... Ben's taking his licks. Like I said, one health fan still rolls five dice. He wasn't too unhappy. He was happy to just escape. Solid play here from Salvador. I mean, 
He's done a great job to, to keep this. Oh, oh, no. That's five. That's five. You spend that. You're not taking any shots back. That's exactly what he needs. That's the swing of the dice there. You got one hit last time. Now, yep. five. Five this time. Looking for paint. So he's he might check for the Hera there to see if he can keep... Yep. Gar Garvin's not taking any other shots, but Garvin can spend the... F oh, no, because be, it would be an, an evade. No. Out of range anyway. Apparently it's a football song, and uh, I don't know any football songs that I'm allowed to sing on Twitch, so let's I'll, I'll keep them to myself. This night we have to win. Well, it, it's so far swinging in your direction. How many... Uh, got one health left on Garvin. Let me update the... Uh... Yep, and another range one shot there into Kyle. Okay, so this could also be a very... A very big shot. It's unmodded, but um, if you can get those four dice, if you can get half on Kyle, he's already up. Oh, sorry, he's he's behind by 13 points. Solid, solid. That, that, that's the potential for half. So, uh, could do some token yep. shenanigans and take one damage. Uh, probably does token shenanigans and just takes two. Oh no, because Khan's already taken one. Mm. Do you want mods for the return shot? Or do you want to uh, uh, dropping stop the tokens. Half? Dropping the tokens. There you go. One damage into Kyle. So it's shields down on Kyle, but not quite half points yet. So Tom still hasn't lost leads in terms of points, but in terms of damage... Uh, yeah... This is the big round here for Salvador, really swinging right back at Tom after after Tom had the, the rub of the green in the first engagement. And he's going to get some more dice into... Ooh. Oh, really wishing he held onto that focus it's... there. Ah, uh, sorry. Right, you are. It's one. <laughs> and Clears just it. enough there. So one problem that Tom has now, uh, and the reason that one of the reasons I think Payload was so happy to just punch out so far forward, is you've got some thermal detonators dropping. Uh, maybe actually, they, you know what? I take that back. Those fangs are in dangerous position for a thermal detonator, especially yeah. a one health <laughs> fan. So I take that all yeah. back. Yeah. Nothing on the front, of course. Out the side, I think you'll. Ooh, I think you'll nail Benthic or Hera. Yep. Uh, who do you shoot here? Error. Wrong. Oh, Benthic. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Hera's, Hera's a worse shot. Um, you can actually swing the game state itself more. With, I agree. With, with a little bit of luck. Whereas, you're kind of just chipping away at Benthic, at Benthic at the moment. So One shield on Benny. So I, I personally am very, very attracted to the, the change, not the change necessarily in, in you know, in, in like you've got, you know, 13 health and down to 11 health in the list, but there's the change in the pressure that you apply to some of the ships when they take a point of damage or two, especially the A-wings. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'd say Tom is probably very protective of Hera because she enables so much of the squad's ability um, you're right one health down on her and he's probably going to be a little bit more cagey than he would be otherwise yep and I'm just eyeing off here uh, those charges on Leia yep they're back he, he, he's I'd say Tom can be pretty confident that uh, the thermal detonators aren't getting dropped unless uh, unless Salvador now determines he needs to bug everyone out, um, but I, I mean, what he's got the options to? I think, I think the problem is there is that you risk you risk getting Fen caught in a yeah some kind of apocalypse of thermals, a K turning Garvin, um, and etc. So it's a hard choice, 
and you're basically saying that you're going to win with Terok if you if you want to nuke your own fan with a thermal. So where if you're popping layer, and I think layer is probably Tom's best move to try and get an advantage here. Where are you putting everyone? Because you don't want Kyle is stressed, so you're not stopping Kyle. Um, uh, you can, if you like, because uh, that will turn it into a white maneuver. Although you're not getting your tokens, you're not getting your token efficiency. Yeah. Um, uh, Garvin has a really nice 4K. Uh, although if Fen, actually, I think that 4K might be a very bad idea because. Fen could just come in, or Fen or Terry could just come in and PS kill you anyway. Um, and they're happy to trade one of those ships for Garvin be off the board and then let the other one. Uh, yes, yes, I'd certainly, I, I possibly like a Talon roll. Yeah. Although that's probably just putting this in where, position. This is where the, the bombs come into play. Yeah, true. I just, I yeah, I think I don't think Garvin will. Salvador, if he's thinking like I'm thinking, he's going, all right, I want to... I'm happy to trade f another five dice from Fen, doesn't matter who it goes into, for Fen, as long as Garvin also leaves the board. And that's a very strong possibility. I don't know that that's a, that's a trade he can make right now. Well, I think if, the way I'm looking at it, if you too hard Fen left, assuming that the 4K is coming in, then... Garvin just goes. And you're probably taking maybe some range one sh shots if he turns yep. Benthic. Uh, but this is where this is where as Tom, if you if you're gonna try the four K and play against the the Fang murdering, you will um you will actually use Benthic's rotate. And probably Kyle as well, spinning your arc, like one forward spin your arc. Yeah. And you cover that. Yeah. So probably for the best because right the you probably then get at least some shots into payload if you get nothing else. You will, and and then if you you can make sure of it on Fen maybe uh, with with the weight of fire coming back at him, and if he plinks off a, a bonus point or two on Terok, that's actually a pretty good trade for yeah. Tom. So it's a very, very, very finely balanced equation here for both mm. players I agree. Uh, in terms of the risk and reward. Now they're just thinking about the systems phase. Oh no, wait, they just haven't quite... Oh, he's reset a dial, has uh, Salvador just reset Terry's dial. And they're just about ready to go to the systems phase. Mm. And just while they're thinking about this, Cam, like I got to say, thank you very much to everybody who's who's shown up at what is, for us is six o'clock in the morning. Massive Chilean support. So really yeah, there's a lot of Chilean support in the chat. There, it's been really nice. On what is our first stream ever, which is, as you can see, a little bit rough and ready. It's kind of like 1977 Star Wars. So thank you very much, and we hope to be bringing some more of this uh, to you guys out there um, and, and hopefully we'll get our act together <laughs> um, and, and have something you know have something you know improve ourselves and, and you know get up the quality of what we bring to you guys because really this is just having fun you know me and you talking at six o'clock in the morning with a coffee yep um, and and we enjoy this and we hope you are too and at the core of it, it just needs some X-Wing. That's all we need. So we did Pretty get a, much. a stop and no rotate out of Benthic. Uh, uh, and a two straight out of Kyle. We did have a layer pop as well. Yep. Uh, interesting choice to not rotate. Yeah, not sure what he, Tom's anticipating here. Well, he's... I mean, he's, he's again. I think he's hedged a bet because he's spun Kyle arcs to the Kyle's firing arc to the back. So you probably see a either a lock or yeah, lock rotate. I think coming here out of payload, just going to lock Kyle. Yep. Oh, okay. Lock lock Garvin. Give him a jam. Ah, yeah. there we go. 
and then for jam. probably a rotate to steal given yeah that's probably why he didn't bother locking uh, one of the other two because he could just I oh, know it's range two I don't think he's got range maybe of Benthic I suppose I, I'm really confused as to as to the not rotating yeah the, the I guess I don't know I'm it's not sure hard. I just can't see it unless you thought old oh, Terok was going to try and escape. But Terok, you've blocked Terok's escape to. lane off anyway, and he doesn't need to. Yeah, I think Terok would be pretty. Uh, mm. uh, Thomas. Yeah, try and get out of the range one there. Um, Fen is. If Fen has turned in, I guess maybe Tom's thinking, I don't know where. Fen is going to go, and if I rotate Benthic, Fen is going to get out of Benthic's arc anyway. Yes, but as you said, the, the worst that would happen is you would get shots on Palop. Right now, the worst that happens is you get nothing. True. Alright, well, his focus is his little battery Hera is going to at least uh, be able to battery. So I'm not sure how helpful it'll be in the long run because um, I don't think she can quite reach Garvin from there. And Garvin's really the main one here. He could take a target lock um, and use that to help out Kyle's shot into Fen. Nope. Nope. Just take a focus. Okay. But I think yeah, Fen. I like the idea of a lock. Hmm. Fen probably just has a two hard in here and then just pushes in to try and say good night to let's see oh, that's a blank dial oh there it is too, too straight oh wow. mm. that's really interesting I, I, I saw it as a maybe and, and this is where this is where I really don't understand that the failure to rotate because Fen's, Fen will hurt you but he won't kill you yeah I mean he doesn't get fearless at the least but I don't know is that worth not taking a shot at all I don't think so uh, I, I'd, I'd rather roll my dice yeah <laughs> so no Kyle no Kyle Paylob oh. steals Still the token from Benthic, which isn't yeah. too bad because Hera's got two focuses anyway. Yep. Uh, and and you'll find that if he can, uh, Tom will probably try and get one of Hera's focuses. If it's unneeded, try and get it to Kyle anyway when Kyle takes his shot so that Kyle's recharged. Now, Kyle's got to worry about Terok as well here. So. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you just punch... I mean, you got five dice into Benthic, or you just take three dice into Kyle. I'm now Kyle. Well, then again, I'm not Salvador, and Salvador's pinging Benthic like mad. Yeah, and and you know what? Salvador's doing a much better job than I probably would have in this position, so... Uh, me too. Hey, and uh, just while they roll these dice, hey, Rogue180 first, you guys are streaming another game. If you punch out the URL, the Twitch channel, or whatever it is there, uh, make sure we can get people following along for the, anybody in Australia or anybody who's not aware of your channel. Because I'm certainly not, so I'm... Yeah, kidding. definitely not. And three focuses. He's... Uh, he's not uh, doing it. Oh, he's, he's got to defend, remember, because... Yeah. He's not got that opportunity to initiative kill Garvin, so he actually has to defend. <laughs> Correct. And although Garvin is unmodded, um, you don't want to be unmodded at range two if your name is Fenrir. All right, here we go. So, old Terok is going to try and do the initiative kill here. Which is yeah, definitely no, the right is, move. This is good, although he's just chucking unmodded dice, gets two hits. Oh, he's got a lock. He took that lock so that many turns ago. Yeah. When he took the one damage, that was he took the lock. Yep, that's right. You got, you got to, you got to use it. There we go. Oh, it's oh. just a focus. So needs looking for paint is Garvin. Oh no. Doesn't quite get it. So he'll check for Hera, but there's no way he has Hera. There's no way he won't even bother. 
So that's big. That's that's very big. Um, it is. And then the the return here though is if you just sneak in one little point of damage there on Fen with uh, Kyle, uh, you you'd actually still be in a decent position if you're named yeah. Thomas Hubler. So now we have Salvador up by ten. Combat has not yet ended, um, and Paylob I think could also take out half on uh, Kyle if he needs yep. to. Ooh, hit. Spends Focus. one of um, Hera's focuses. Yep. So let's see what Fen can do. The there yeah, he gets it. He gets the paint. Yeah, this is massive here for Salvador. Yeah, Garvin really is the the heavy heavy hitter in the squad. So once he's gone, um, it does become a bit of an uphill battle, I think, for for Tom to try and recover. Yeah, yeah. And he could get half on. Um, oh, I've, who is he shooting into here, Kyle? Kyle. Kyle Hit should there. have another dice if so. Oh no, he's shooting into Benthic. Just pass the focus. Take a shield. I would have liked the shot into Kyle, I think. Yeah, yeah that, that's half points on Kyle if you can get it. And hopefully maybe even get him to spend that focus so he's not carting that around next turn. Yep. Now you've got Caleb flying away from the fight here with 13 minutes left in the match. In a bit of a sticky situation for Tom, with Fen really behind your entire list right now. Uh, um, and and Terox, you know, a little bit of an awkward spot for Salvador, but does have some options to mm. to keep doing some work. And he, and the worst that happens is that you you'll bump somebody and and maybe steal a token and and you know, get get your chance next round. So other than the the points calculus. Um, I think Salvador is actually up on the board state as well. Yeah. With the two fangs now starting to dominate. And and looking at it as well, I'm thinking, trying to get my head into Tom's brain. Um, I'm thinking the reason he didn't rotate was so that Benthic wasn't sort of stuck out on his own. I think is his thinking yeah. here because if he'd rotated, Benthic is basically fed to the wolves, <laughs> and it's. It's it's all over. He's got to stop and rotate again, or move, and be out of position from his friends here. But then, I don't know how you turn around Hera or Kyle um, to take meaningful shots. The time on the board is we've got 12 minutes left on the board. Tom is behind uh, by 11 points. Yep. One more damage into either of the fangs will net him some points to get him ahead, but he needs to do so without taking any more damage from Kyle. Sorry, on Kyle. Half of Kyle is worth 25, half of Terry is worth 30. Uh, so it's probably a foregone conclusion he lose, loses half on Kyle or all of Kyle. And with a couple of rounds left, you could probably bank on losing half of Benthic as well. Yeah. I don't think you get away from these fangs. That said, if you you, you spike that one damage on Fen and, and all of a sudden... The game turns, yeah. Game's turned again because Salvador's ability to actually spike that damage into you has suddenly mostly gone away. So Tom's uh, gone for the one bank bump uh, to just keep Benthic there without doing a stop, which is, which is a, a decent play. Um, there's no... Unless the guys... Unless the two fangs do a... Red maneuver. They're not getting shots on him again. Yeah, just looking to set up a little kill box here with one of those. I think he's expecting one of those fangs to have to push into the the you know pretty much the very center of the board, and with the rear arc on Kyle and the oh, front. he's gone for it. So this will probably be a target lock, target lock for Fen uh, onto Kyle or onto Ben. Kyle's out of range, so. Oh, is that is that Paylobs? Oh, I thought sorry, I thought he was doing a, thought he was doing a coordinate. My bad. Uh, it's just a just his own one there, and 
Now we've got Terry. <sighs> Terry. What have you got for us, Terry? Three bank. He's getting out of there. Yeah, you, I mean, he doesn't need to cough up half. And, and if Fenn can do just a little bit more work, he'll seal the game here for Salvador. So I wonder... So Hera's moving first. If Hera doesn't get behind that gas cloud, which I'm sure she isn't... Oh, yeah, she can... Oh. Just roll, roll into it if you want. He probably oh. wants that token. Uh, he's, oh. yeah, there he is. yeah, Fen Fen's probably just what focus gonna boosting. Gonna... Just focus boost. Oh no, no roll. You can't because you'll die. Oh, but I don't know if I guess yeah, he should be fine there. He's But this this um defensive play from Salvador has at least given Tom some breathing room to make a play next turn. Terry and Fenn are facing different directions. You can hopefully try and set up a kill box again next turn and catch Fenn. Yep. But Salvador could just run for nine minutes. Uh, yes, and the time is really against Tom at the moment. Mm. You know, Tom's probably wondering where his next, his next point's going to be scored. So un ooh, unobstructed. Unobstructed. I thought that would have been Range obstructed. Three, though. So any kind of paint there with that focus token is going to be really nice for Fen. Only one one result there for Tom. So three, four blanks, and Fen's gone. But uh, statistics yeah, say no. Low percentage, but this it's is fine. why it's a dice game. If we didn't want to play dice games, I think we'd all play chess. I like chess. So do I, but I, I, don't, I don't play it because I need the variance to help me. At least. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just we'll just play uh, dice chess. It's okay. So this is a sh range three shot into Benthic. Um yeah, This is freebies. Yeah, this is absolutely freebies. One. Benthic's got three dice here. Oh no, got no, the target lock. Gonna... That's right. Because he'll try and just score some more points here. Get yeah, pushes that to two with an extra focus. Two will get half if. Um... Oh, he's blanked out as well. So I'm pretty sure two gets half. Maybe my mass is off. Uh, so he's going to check for range uh, two on here. I don't. Uh, oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Well done. Yep. Turn that into an evade. Preserve your half. So ends up just taking that last shield there. Yep. So preserves half points. I, I think you're right here, Cam. Honestly, I feel like the smart play for Salvador is really for safer Fen, just a just a lazy turn to the right. Yep. Bug out. Like you, you you'll back yourself not getting nailed by a U wing. Um, and I don't know that the other two ships there, Kyle and Hera, really have any kind of a play on on Terry or Palob, so going to be a, a hard slog with only six and a half minutes left to actually for Tom to score more points. Yeah, someone uh, in the chat said the coverage for the XTC is being amazing. I completely agree and I think one of my favourite things is that every match is quality because every match has some of the best players in the world. Um, and I think that's been my favourite part of the XTC coverage so far, is the fact that every, and everyone's playing to win. It's nothing casual, everyone's competitive, uh, and everyone's trying their best. So I think that that's really creating some really great games of X-Wing. Two, two things on that, though, there, Cam, is one is that, yes, there's amazing coverage, and then there's me and you at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I think we're doing great. Uh, and secondly, that said, I'm, I'm, having a, I'm having a ball, guys. So secondly... Uh, with the way that the pairings work is you know you're creating these really good matchups mm. it's not just oh what did you decide to bring versus what did i decide to bring you got this team format you got people you know jockeying for position in the matchup phase to actually generate these really good games as well um, and the other thing i've seen of course is that while while it's been pretty high level play um, jumping onto a couple of the streams there looks like everybody's still actually enjoying themselves 
uh, because competitive play can be enjoyable as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, just because you're just because you're playing for for sheep stations, as we say in Australia, doesn't mean that it's it's not a good game, you know, for us to watch and also for the guys to play. You know, it's a really really mentally taxing, and it's part of why we all love X-wing. Um, so, you know, high level play can be fun as well. So I'm surprised here by Tom uh, not rushing Kyle around the corner there, around the rock. Um, yeah. I think he needs to get moving. Uh, he's got just under five minutes left. <clears throat> he doesn't really have time to stress Kyle and slowly yeah. skirt him around the board. Tom's banking on Fenn turning left, and, and Fenn ain't turning left. Mm, yeah. He's got maybe one good turn left in him. Um, and if Fen has gone right, yeah, yeah. then, so, yeah. So, that said, and he'll boost around, I think, to the right here. That said, with four minutes left in the game, it's not over yet. No, Tom's not probably quite. got maybe one decent round of shooting left. Um, but he needs round of shooting left. He needs to get in. He needs to he needs to get in there and do something. Literally that. Uh, and I think honestly, I think if you're fan, you just five straight into the corner next round with three and a half minutes left in the game, <laughs> and say thanks for coming, or or, or even just a, a three a lazy three bank right boost. Uh, Benthic. Problem for Tom here is that Benthic uh, is just about to cough up half. Terry turning in, uh, which means that you have to deal some damage. Uh, no layer options, and Kyle is is out of the fight, like flat out out of the fight. So layer is back. Oh, layer um, is back. Sorry, but I don't. I mean, I think you'd use it because it's you've got to, you've got to do do, do something, um, but I don't really think it helps. Too much. Obviously, it gets Benthic turned, and facing the right direction for hopefully one more turn. But I don't think I don't think they're going to get there. Yeah, I. I it pretty I much actually, honestly Salvador's game to lose right now. Definitely um, fly around and and just win. <clears throat> so even a five straight. Mm. Okay. Does Tom maybe think he's up on points? I oh, can't. He's only done half defend. He's lost all of Garvin. Uh, we'll see what he does. He hasn't blocked the five straight there, has he? I think he might have. Uh, I hope not. Stop from you know. Paylob. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, Salvador seems to be playing to the win condition that he has, which is just don't take any more shots. Um, hey, why would you not? I don't know if you caught the uh, the USA game there on on the Gundarks channel last night. Uh, I didn't. Ah, the um, the Swedish player lost lost his wedge on basically the last round of the game to lose the game. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! So uh, I can't quite see the table timer. Hang on, let me just see the table timer. Yeah, one twenty-six. So ninety seconds left. Christoph also thinks Tom thinks he's winning. Uh, Tom, Tom, having having known him for a while, um, he's surely done this in his head. He he must know that the only points he's got is half of Fen, which is definitely less than all of Garvin. going to take a focus token and I think the real question is here is if really about it. so they'll get one more round in if they uh, yeah so they get one more round in um, really surprised by Tom Tom basically just needs Hera to do a damage somewhere uh, which yeah. I don't know where she can I mean she's not getting half on Paylob he's got to let Paylob go she pushes in to try and catch Fen, but Fen just one hearts and sit and 
yeah, focus yeah, barrel rolls behind the cab. Correct. That's correct. <laughs> That's easy. I think Tom's just left this. Whatever this play is, he's left it. Yeah, well, too late. A little bit too late. Yeah, and the the not stopping and turning, um, Benfic last round was pretty much. Pretty much the game that was. Yep. So that's time on the table. Um, I'm hoping. I'm sure Tom knows. <laughs> I'm sure Tom knows he is uh, not up. Um, he's silly, but he's not that silly. So he is herring. Um, I think just for fun. Stop. Uh, layer. Yep. Sorry. Rotate. Sorry, layering. Layering. Uh, it's actually not make quite it a verb. just for fun. It gives the option for a three bank. That's that's blue. So there's a little bit of method in Oh, the does it reduce the difficulty of all manoeuvres? Yeah, yeah. Not just the red ones. Although that's what it gets used for. No, it is just the difficulty of red manoeuvres. Oh, sorry, the difficulty of red manoeuvres. Um, sorry. Tom is just having fun. <laughs> He's just having fun. But yeah, I think um, this has been a... Honestly, it's been a fantastic game. Um, and... Credit to my boy Tom. Um, this is a rough matchup for him, and he's done a really great job um, doing what he's been able to do so far. Um, but yeah, the, the the spike damage from Fen and really the positioning that uh, Salvador's been able to pull out with these fangs has been really great. He's really made some good choices, um, and he's taken the shots where he needs to take the shots, and he's just really overwhelmed Tom I think after that first engagement that went Tom's way he's just overwhelmed him with that Terry, Terry and Paylob especially that one turn where he took all the tokens that was that was massive that was pretty much turning point I think yeah and, and I think you nailed it there Salvador while he's got the paper uh, good matchup he's actually played this really well uh, he's kept his ships out of the fight where he's needed to and actually made sure that most of the engagements, with the exception of that one round there on Fen, most of the engagements have actually been on his own terms. Yeah. You know, even even aside from the uh, even aside from the benefits he gets with you know Paylob and Terry there. So just going to roll there. Still going to have the cloud. Roll link is, focus. Yeah. Yeah. And it's he's getting a shot back too. If if Hera's still getting her shot, so now the only the only way to to actually win this is a perfect roll. So a perfect roll into an imperfect roll. Probably ninety nine percent, ninety nine plus percent uh, in Salvador's favour. <laughs> all those <laughs> all those green dice. And Tom, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to spend it. Uh, and he's blanks on Fen here, and all that is the game. Yep, five blanks is the game. That's not five blanks. Not five blanks. That is the game uh, in Salvador's favour. Salvador's still got a shot back, so it could yep. be an even more um, disastrous defeat for Tom here. Oh, look, hey, 46-36, probably not disastrous. I, I am not actually tracking whether... MOV or anything like that. I don't think so. I don't think matchups. so. That's what I heard. And there's a bunch of paint there for Tom. So yep. that's pretty much all she wrote. I don't think Paylob's got anything and, and Terry's well out of the fight as well as, well as the rest of uh, Tom's ship. So really, really good game. 2-2, two, two, I think. Great game, yeah. A very fantastic game, I think. Both players... This is this is what I mean when I say XTC is so great to watch because you're just watching two of the best players. Um, I'm sure Salvador is one of the best players in Chile. Uh, I can say Tom Harper is one of the best players from Australia. Um, such a fantastic game. They just... Yeah, I think they did a great job. So well done to Chile for taking out uh, another win. So that's 2-2 to Chile. So there's another game uh, that they are streaming tonight. If Whoever that was that had that um, if you want to drop that back in the chat again, uh, the link for your channel, um, I would love to watch that later tonight. Um, yeah, that was uh, Rogue 181st there. Rogue 181st, awesome. Um, so thanks everyone for coming out. 
uh, for watching our first ever stream, actually. Our first ever stream. If you would like to rewatch, um, the VOD will be available, but we'll also I'll also be uploading it to YouTube later on. Uh, the link for that is on our profile all the same. Um, uh, I now need to prepare, and so does Tom. We're both attending the Gold Squadron podcast tournament Bespin uh, Galaxy Qualifiers in about two hours. Um, so we've both got to go prep for that now. Um, but thank you everyone for coming out. Uh, it was a great match from both players. And thank you Suresh for waking up at 6am with me so that we could uh, we could we could watch this and, and talk about it. Yeah, no worries mate. You know I'm an X-Wing tragic, right? Yeah. Seriously. You are, you are a tragedy. Um, but we love you Suresh uh, and we love you Chile. <laughs> Um, so happy to have had you guys in the first round so um, we will try and stream as many as, of these as we can so if you're interested in seeing uh, your boy Tom Harper um, or any of the other Australian boys just uh, yeah come come back here alrighty alright thank, thank you and good morning thank you and good morning alright have a good one